to ScrapbookingStation.com. In this short video, we're going to prep some clear stamps. So if you've ever been frustrated about them falling off your acrylic block, uh, here are some really quick ways to set them up so that never happens again. So I'm going to put the camera over my shoulder and we'll get started. This is the Just Saying clear stamp set from Stampin' Up! And so you've got your sheet with the labels on it and you've got your set of stamps. So the first thing you want to do is punch all these out. Okay, once you have all your stamps punched out, the next thing to do is peel off the backing for the labels for the back of your stamps and they are slit. And just get your nail under there, peel that off. Oop, be careful not to pick up that label. Because what you can want to do now is take off the back of your stamp. And let me move that out of the way for a second. And you want to get right over it. So I'm actually, well, no I'm not. I'm going to take a chance. But you want to be over it. And get that right in there. Press it down. And then you've got something like this. Now here is the good part. If you've ever had trouble, um, I know I do. If you're stamping with ink, not a big deal. But sometimes when you're using Versamark because it's a little bit more sticky, or you take your acrylic block and stick this on here and you do the, let's see, what do they tell you to do? go like this and get it on there and once you start scrubbing if you have to stamp it again then your block and everything else is very slippery. So what I want you to do now is take out your Tombow glue and just real thin layer like that and let it dry. And like I said Versamark scrubbing and I like to stick my stamps in ooey gooey messes. So this is some embossing paste and you stick it in there and it gets stuck. So anyway this is a great way to keep it on the acrylic block and it will not move whether you scrub it or stamp it or whatever. So you do that to all your stamps. Now the other thing, the other tip, let's move these all out of the way. I'm going to do the same thing with those. But you've got this. And so what you can also do, and I'm about 50-50 on this technique, only because if you've watched any of my older videos, I like using my leftovers. Oh my gosh, I forgot one. I've got a little heart here I need to punch out. Oh, as I was saying, if you've watched any of my other videos, the one on solid stamps, do more with your solid stamps. You know I like to use the leftovers to make my own solid stamps with my Big Shot and Big Z dies. But anyway, if you want to go back and take a look at that, that was back in the day when I used to um, dub over because I was worried about roosters or whatnot. But anyway, you can stick this back here. And so, I don't want to put that one in there, but let me show you another one that I've done. This is what your stamps will look like. And so you open those up. Like I said, I'm not convinced. I mean, I could probably use that piece to make myself another solid stamp. And sometimes it's more trouble getting them back in the slot than it's worth. But that's up to you. So anyway, I think you'll find this glue, like I said, let it dry, and let me show you. And I will wiggle that around, but it's just a little thin layer of glue. And then when you stick it on your block, it looks like so. Now, even if you're not a Stampin' Up! person, if you've got clear acrylic stamps, especially the small ones, these are from um, Hot Off the Press, but yeah, I put glue on there, and when you know it's ready when you can put your finger down and you're not picking up glue. So I've done that with these as well. And actually, this reminds me, I am going to try and put together some way to organize these so I can see them. And if you've noticed when I introduced my videos, 
My stamps are up on the wall, so I know that they're ready to go. And I can pick and choose, and I'm going to try and do something like that to organize my clear stamps. Anyway, thank you for watching, and hope you took something with you that you can use to prep your own stamps.